Investors and businesses are well aware of how critical it is to adopt new and innovative technology in today's competitive market and digitally agile environment. The internet is continually changing just like other companies and sectors. The second iteration of the web, Web2, has offered us more options to participate in reading and writing than the previous version of the web, Web1, did. But users can read, publish, generate, and own their content using Web3. This video will discuss why you should invest in Web3. Gavin Wood, a co-founder of Ethereum, introduced the term Web3 in 2014 and described it as a decentralized digital ecosystem built on blockchain. It is a newly developed hybrid internet that aims to evolve into a decentralized version of the online community. Instead of being dominated by large IT companies, Web3 is built, managed, and owned by its users. It uses blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and NFTs to transfer power from large corporations and tech giants back to the common public. Web3 engineers and developers are paid with cryptocurrency tokens rather than the standard form of payment. Additionally, Web3 users have the option to select the projects they want to support and the chance to earn significant returns by investing in Web3. While Web3.0 developers are less numerous than Web2.0 developers, research indicates that the number of Web3.0 developers is about to explode with 350,000 active developers expected to use one blockchain development platform in 2021. For several reasons, the future of Web3 appears promising. It announces the arrival of decentralized applications, dApps, which are a direct challenge to Web2.0's rise as an ecosystem dominated by corporate behemoths and a return to the ideals of a publicly controlled internet. Before continuing the video, subscribe to our channel and smash the bell icon to never miss any of our upcoming videos. Web3 dApps aren't like the apps of today, which are hosted on corporate-owned services and just one cloud provider. Instead, they use peer-to-peer -peer and blockchain technologies. DApps are frequently open source, and as a result, they appeal to ambitious developers as a place to fast create and contribute, sometimes while remaining anonymous, inside a flat framework where everyone gets rewarded. Consider Web3, which encourages testing and production and allows for incremental progress as the Lego of the developer community. This method of working enhances the capacity of Web3 developers to swiftly innovate and iterate on products to see the results of their efforts. Similar to conventional investment, it is sensible to look for companies that offer necessities for daily life. Start with fintech companies that specialize in cutting-edge payment and other financial services. Businesses occasionally sell products or services that are not seen as needs. However, they might provide a unique or exceptionally creative solution that challenges conventional knowledge, creates brand new market sectors, or appeals to institutional clientele. It's crucial to pick a business that can protect its technology or goods, so that others cannot just imitate what they offer. They should have patents. They cannot succeed if competitors in the same industry may steal their company model or even outsmart it legally and technically. Additionally, for startups without a technical founder or CTO, it may be necessary to make hiring a CTO into account when a company's technological needs are pressing and a significant technology upgrade is required. The startup needs decisive and experienced technical leadership, such as when making tech purchases and communicating with clients and business partners who are technically astute. Investments shouldn't be made in firms that can't demonstrate the required technical know-how and leadership. However, Web3 developers also benefit financially, in addition to the promise of rapid innovation and groundbreaking development opportunities. First off, there is a bonus based on the Web3 model itself, where earnings are supplemented by protocol tokens similar to stock options and closely associated with the performance of the products. Every token owner can cast a vote within this flat framework. Every product is also an investment opportunity, which is a fundamental tenet of Web3, much like liquid equity. The tokenized system alone, though, may not be profitable. Developers that contribute to these projects in the hopes of receiving compensation in the future frequently engage in social experiments rather than setting themselves up for future success because the sector is still in its early stages. That is not to claim that professions in Web3 are not profitable. From London to Singapore to San Francisco, forward-thinking organizations pay Web3 developer salaries up to $500,000. Verifiable, self-governing, permissionless, distributed, and strong, stateful, and providing for native built-in payments are a few of the principles of Web3. This has numerous implications for businesses, including real-time payments, increased security, chances for less hazardous collaboration, and more straightforward business procedures. Web3 is already impacting new financial and pharmaceutical models, and it will surely provide more entrepreneurs access to more opportunities, maybe breaking the present big firm's stronghold. Strategic firms should start now rather than wait to reap the long-term rewards. This could be your next professional move if you want to benefit from Web3 and be at the cutting edge of technology. 
Are you planning to invest in Web3? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more from us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be back with another informative video.